Hi, my name is Pascal. I'm part of the Electrohydraulic Systems Engineering at Booker Hydraulics. And I'm standing in front of a demonstrator to show different power management solutions like flow and demand or solutions with hydraulic joysticks or even hand levers. But let me first describe what you're seeing. The system consists of a variable speed electric motor that drives our AX24 pump. A standard HDS24 flow sharing block distributes the flow to where it is needed. We also added one of our QX pumps and two small cylinders in order to better illustrate the behavior of the solutions. Okay, let's get the system running. I can now hear the fans of the inverters so the system is ready. But the pump only starts turning if an actual demand from the user is present. And this is why our new AX pump revolutionizes the electrification of mobile machines, as it can turn very slowly even under high pressures. The principle is very simple. By using the joystick, the user requests the actuator to move with the desired speed. The necessary volumetric flow is calculated and used to actuate the valves as well as the electric motor. We are using stepper actuators here, but the same is true for electrohydraulic actuation using coils even without position feedback. In comparison to a load sensing system, the flow and demand solution is more stable and more dynamic. I'm now explaining you what you see on the monitor. If I'm extending one cylinder, the pump flow is matching accordingly. If I add another cylinder to the same movement, the pump is providing the sum of both. The system is very robust concerning tolerances and uncertainties. If the pump delivers too much oil, the excess of oil is bypassed in the inlet compensator and any moving actuator remains unchanged in its speed. In the case of undersupply, we have several options that I now would like to present to you. The default behavior during undersupply is done hydraulically by the block itself. In the case of the HDS24 block, this is flow sharing, where we influence the cylinder speed with the rotation of the motor. But it's also possible to electronically change this behavior and prioritize the speed of the cylinder one such that we have no effect on the speed by the turning of the motor. Don't give up if you use hydraulic joysticks or even hand levers. Give us a call and ask for solutions for manual control. This will be very interesting for you.